the choice of dress for um, a royal wedding shows in a really interesting way changing attitudes to royal marriage in itself. Going back through history, it was a matter of foreign policy. These marriages anchored political alliances and diplomatic settlements. And in that way, the, the wedding dress could so often um, reflect just the importance um, of that, that transaction um, for the nation. The dresses are gold and silver. They, they represent money, they represent wealth, they're showing off dresses. We can still see that in, in Princess Charlotte's dress here. What's really interesting is if you compare Charlotte's little silver dress with the dress worn by her younger cousin, Queen Victoria, Victoria is already queen when she is married and she realises as a clever young woman that marriage has been used as, as a political tool um, so often. And she didn't want that to be a factor on her wedding day. You can see that reflected in her diary where there's a little note. They talked about my wearing my robes. That means the big red velvet coronation robes trimmed with ermine. But I thought not. Um, she was very clear, this is a personal transaction. And she designs a dress which steps over that mark into the kind of wedding dress that any well brought up young girl in this country could begin to aspire to. And so royal weddings begin to be that kind of aspirational thing. Royal wedding dresses have always been message givers. All royal brides have looked to the gifts that their generation, their era can provide for them. Even the simplest of the dresses that are here is absolutely replete with message. Um, first of all, it's made out of an English silk. It was woven in Spitalfields in East London. It's decorated with English lace and that was a special commission. It was a well-publicised commission um, um, from the towns of Honiton and Beer in the West Country. So Victoria, on her wedding day, was actually shouting loud about things that Britain was really good at. And this was a tradition then followed by Victoria's successors. Um, Alexandra's dress um, was also um, decorated with English lace. In fact, she had come from Denmark um, with the present of a dress which had been made out of Brussels lace. But that was not going to be the thing. It was really important, again, that this was a British dress. And the same goes with um, the dress which was worn by Princess May, later Queen Mary. There are wonderful images of um, May and her mother sitting there with manufacturers from all over the British Isles coming with their products and they're making a very careful and very diplomatic um, selection just so that it can be seen um, that as a royal bride and indeed uh, um, potentially a future queen is that she has done this very, very well and fairly. Mm -hmm.